Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Facebook and YouTube. Welcome once more to the Kingdom Mandate of Jesus Christ Ministry, the house where God lives, dwells, where miracles happen, healing takes place. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for coming. God bless you all. God bless you. Welcome. We're so happy to have you every week, Thursday um, night, UK time, 7 to 7.15, we're live. God bless you and you are welcome tonight. Hallelujah. You're worthy, Jesus. We thank you. Just going to read 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 1 to 7. 2 Timothy 3, verses 1 to 7. Teen, sorry. So 2 Timothy 3, verses 1 to 17. This know, this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous boasters, proud blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accus accusers, incont incontinent, fierce despisers of those that are good, traitors, heavy, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having form of godliness but denying the power thereof, from such turn from such turn away. For of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with diverse lusts, ever learning and, ever, and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Now as James and Jambres withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds reprobate concerning the faith, but they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be manifest unto all men, as there also was. But thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long suffering, charity, patience, persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me at Atinok, as at each noon, at, at each noon, at Lystia, was persecutions I endured. But out of them all, the Lord delivered me. Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. But even men and seducers shall wax worse and worse deceiving and being deceived. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of knowing of whom thou hast learned them and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Jesus, which is in Christ Jesus. All scriptures is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. 17 and last, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Here in the reading of God's holy word, thanks be to God. For those who have just joined us, I was reading from 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 1 to 17. Hallelujah. So now I'm going to take myself out the way and I'm going to introduce the wonderful speaker for tonight, none other than Pastor Elisha. Receive him and the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Over to you, Pastor Elisha. God bless you. Thank you. Amen. You know, greeting in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, greeting to Pastor greeting the Reverend Sovereign, greeting to each and every one. In the mighty name of Jesus, it's a privilege to be in the fellowship of God one more time. You know, God is merciful. God is merciful towards us. And, you know, I just feel the spirit of God is moving. You know, not because we're in line. You know, I can feel the spirit of God is moving in the mighty name of Jesus. But I'm going to pray again. Hallelujah. Father God Almighty. We give her the glory, Jehovah God. Lord, we give her the honor, God Almighty. 
We give her a praise and the adoration, God. Hallelujah. Father, as we come before you again tonight, God, I pray that God let the power of your Holy Spirit have your way, God, in our life, in each and every one of us' life, in the mighty name of Jesus. God Almighty, say hi and shame it, and Jehovah God. We are not just coming in line to hear a ceremony, God. We are coming and we are praying and we are believing for a revival in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, God Almighty, Lord. I pray that God help each and every one of us, oh God Almighty, to become a vessel of revival in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, God Almighty, we need your strength, my God, more than ever in this time, Lord Jehovah God. I pray that God, you strengthen us, oh God Almighty. I pray that God, you build a fence around us, a wall of fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, even tonight, God Almighty, hallelujah, we come bold before your throne, oh God, and we say, have a father in the mighty name of Jesus, my God. He said, the kingdom got some violence, hallelujah, and, and the violence take you by force in the name of Jesus. I pray that God empowers, oh God, you will enter by fire, God will answer us by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that God, you empower us, oh God, hallelujah. Let your hand be upon us, oh God, hallelujah. Let your hand be upon us, oh God. So the unction to function in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, my God, for the power of the Holy Spirit, God, to have your, have your way in our life tonight. Have your way, God Almighty, to each and every one of us in line tonight, Jehovah God. We're not just coming in line, hallelujah, for sure. But we're coming, Jehovah God, because I say, I am, Shaman, I am Jehovah God. And he said, my God, hallelujah, is your Holy Spirit, my God, hallelujah, that, that elevate. Is your Holy Spirit that promote Jehovah God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So God, Father, we thank you for your anointing, Jehovah God. I pray that the word of God shall be like a fire and a hammer in my mouth in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, I give you the glory. I give you the hand of Jehovah God. I give you the praise, oh God. And I give you the adoration in the mighty name of Jesus. But I thank you, Lord. I thank you for what you're doing in our life. And I thank you, God, for what you're going to do in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, God, for your manifestation, Jehovah God. I thank you, God, for your unction to function in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, I thank you for this light. Oh my God, I Hallelujah. I thank you for this meeting tonight, Jehovah God. Hallelujah. I pray that, Lord, help us to go from strength to strength and from glory to glory, Jehovah God Almighty, Lord, to carry mission across the end of the world. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. The Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Thank the mighty Jesus. name of Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And you know, tonight, you know, you know as, it, as I was praying, it came to me, hallelujah. Second Timothy chapter three. And he, the first verse said, this we also that in the last day, perilous times shall come, but we are living in perilous time. Perilous time are to come. We are living in perilous time. And the mm -hmm. church is sleeping, they don't realize that they are living in perilous time. If you mm -hmm. know, if the Lord promised a perilous time shall come, but now we are living in perilous time, our attitude has to be different. Hallelujah. We have to speak different. We have to walk different. Hallelujah. Because in us, when there's a war, you have to act different. It's not time for the church to sleep. It's time for the church to realize we are living in perilous time. Hallelujah. Time, see, not going to become better, but only you can become better because there's surety in God. God's in your righteousness. The Bible says, with a clean and a pure heart, in the mighty name of Jesus. Me and you are living in perilous time. The, Bible, the word of God said, people read, but they will never come to the truth and the knowledge of God. Because if you're carnal, if you're full of carnality, you cannot come to the knowledge of the truth of the word of God. Amen. 
So the people, we are the body of Christ. We have to set our house in order because we are living in perilous time. The time is very hard. And it's nearer than we think of in the mighty name of Jesus. It's time we, you know, we read the Bible every day. We can quote the scripture. Hallelujah. But the church must be the church. Amen. We, we compromise too much. Hallelujah. We move yes. away from the church and we become yes. lukewarm. Hallelujah. And yes. we see that the perilous times shall come. Perilous mm -hmm. times shall come when we are living in perilous times. Yes. Church of the living God, it's time for us to wake up. We cannot yes. be at the same level. When I look at, you know, the two verse tell you about all these things, what the two verse tell you about, we already see these things already on there. It's fulfilled. And the, the Lord, he told this thing already before. So when those things come, we fail not. Yes. Think of God is time for the church to go higher in God. Amen. Not just reading the Bible, not just praying, hallelujah, but we have to live the life of God. Too long, you know, we compromise our salvation. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. The enemy comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. So we cannot compromise. If you're a soldier, you must be a soldier. You know, yes, you have to amen. work as a soldier, speak like a soldier, and be on and, uh, be and duty in the name of Jesus Christ because you and me are living in perilous time. Amen. We cannot be at the same level. Hallelujah. Saints of God, the church become lukewarm. Hallelujah. And the amen. Bible tells us that no one a lukewarm Christian. No. He want, he don't want a cold Christian. He want a hot Christian. Come on now. And anyway, oh, yeah. I look warm. You see, you see, if we know about food hygiene, when I place look warm, it causes bacteria. <laughs> and bacteria has filled up the house of God. Yes. And bacteria, it like sin, fill up the house of God because we have become lukewarm. But when a place is hot, the enemy cannot stand it. Yes. So the church of the living God have to get back to the basic, get back to the whole time religion. Amen. You know, you cannot live the same, walk the same. Then we go through persecution for your righteousness. But we have to speak the truth. Stop compromising the word of God and speak the truth. Hallelujah. In the Amen. mighty name of Jesus Christ. If we said we are, we, we said we are a child of God, hallelujah, we have to act like a child of God. The word of God, love shall cover a multitude of our sin. We forsake love. We become so bitter, hateful, saints of God. You are living in perilous time. We can't be asleep. We can't be asleep. We have to be awake. You look around you and you see what is taking place. Don't, don't be too comfortable. You can't be comfortable when there's a war is going. We as Christians to become too comfortable and forsake the duty of God. We must be on duty 24-7 in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm too complacent. Hallelujah. Too long we have been in the same level. I would think many of us would think we are somewhere with God. We are not, we are not, we are nowhere with God. Because that's why we have to pray for revival. You know, when you look at when you look at something, you tell some people, oh God, you know why I'm here because the people are in a coma. Yes. I want a person in a coma in their heart to wake up. Uncle the Holy Spirit can revive them because they become dry bone. So we can't, we have to stop sleeping, church, and wake up. Look, look what is going on around us. And mm -hmm. the Bible said, you know, praise the Lord. I think in March 24, I think in March, March 24 and verse 7 says, if our nation shall rise up against nation and kingdom against kingdom, 
And they say, and there shall be famine, pestilence, and earthquake in divers places. What we are living at this time is a nation rise up against nation. Kingdoms are divided. Stop being too comfortable, to relax. The church becomes sleep. Demon can walk in the church and do anything in the church and the people are asleep. We are the mother in the church. We are the father in the church. Hallelujah. We become blind. But Jesus, Jesus is saying to us, he's coming for a church. A hat. He's not coming for a lukewarm church. Mm -hmm. We have to stand up and defend, defend the faith of God. Yes. They defend all uncircumcised Philistine to speak about to speak about the name of God and David defend the name of God. What are we doing today? We are sleeping and allow sin to increase. Hallelujah. Time we should, we should increase in righteousness. We are decreasing. Praise the Lord. But saints of God, if we are praying for a revival, if we are praying for changes, we need to we need to get back to the basic. We need to get back to the whole time religion. We need to we need to, we need to allow the word of God to abide in us, and we abide in the word of God. Make our yeah mean yeah, and our no mean no. We have to we have to come back. Don't move away from move away from the stairs of sleeping. Move away, hallelujah, from the place of backbiting. The Bible says, the word of God said, you know, oh, can, oh, can we love God and we don't love our brother and our sister? And the enemy, the word of God said, the enemy is in the household of faith, making confusion at all times. Church of the living God, we have to work. In the name of Jesus Christ, we need God more than ever in this time. Perilous time is here. What are what are what men you doing? You know, say you know, say people are getting any more who walk with the unction of God, the burn of God. The Bible says must sing him, make it melody in our heart. Hallelujah. We must look up our redemption giant night. We don't see you know people full of the zeal of God, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus Christ. We don't see people we spend so much time in prayer at the, the word of God. We season with the word of God. God wants us to get back to the basic. We cannot be at the same level. Hallelujah. We cannot be at the same place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ is coming. He's coming soon that we think of. He's coming, church of the living God. He's coming. So you and me, you and me, you know, have to get our house in order. We have to get our life right. We God, you know, we cannot, you know, I, you know, the Bible said, no, the word of God said to us, nation shall rise up against nation, kingdom against kingdom. And in, in the same match, in the same match 24 and verse 35, the, 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 God tells us, you know, if one of his word pass away, hallelujah, every and heard pass away. Wherever God say more, be more, do it. So we have to wake up. So I'm telling you tonight, let, let us begin to pray and see the manifestation of God in our life. Don't satisfy where your heart at this time, but get more higher in God. Because the Bible says the just live by faith. We have to live by faith. And the Bible says one of the greatest prayer is a whole <laughs> father. The Lord says we must pray for our daily bread in this perilous time. Don't be too comfortable. Maybe have a job. Don't think about you're going to have a job tomorrow. Anything can happen. You are living in perilous time. 
You look around us and you look in Jamaica, you look in England, everywhere is tumbling down. When you turn the news, something's happening. There's no way to run. There is no way to hide. But we have a refuge in God. We have a refuge. The Bible said, they that trust in the Lord shall be like Mount Zion. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so God surrounded me and you. So don't lose hope. The first and line, the first us and line tonight. If we began to pray and ask God and, be, and began to make ourselves available to God, God can use me and you to shape the city. You're looking for a man and a woman to stand in the gap in this time we live in. We see in Timothy, in, in Timothy, it already fulfilled. You and me are living in perilous time. Our prayer life had to change. We need to spend more time with God, more time in the word of God, in the mighty name of, we need to fill up with the power of the Holy Spirit of God. If we don't fill up with the power of the Holy Spirit of God, how can me and you overcome in the mighty name of Jesus? We look around us and we see in this time we're living, you know, the Bible says false prophet will rise up. False prophet who have a lying spirit. And we take this thing lightly because we don't understand, hallelujah, about false prophet. They will rise up and deceive many. Praise the Lord. The Bible telling Timothy, you know, people come to the house of God for refuge. And they are there to deceive many. But church of the living God, but we have to pray for the Lord to give us a spirit of discernment, discerning in the name of Jesus Christ. Our high have to be hoping in this time. It's not time for us who can do it better. Hallelujah. It's time for us to work together in unity for the kingdom of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It's time for us to be mindful for nothing, but in everything, prayer and supplication. It's time for us to dedicate ourselves to God like never before in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm not that my God. It's time for us to get back to the whole time religion. Praise the Lord. God is, Jesus is coming. We are living in perilous time. And we are praying. We are, how oh, can we overcome perilous time? Because the Bible said, hallelujah, the enemy have blind those, those high, blind their high. Yes, death they hears, hallelujah. We have to pray for God to give us a revival to, to undo, hallelujah, deliver those who have been bound. And the Bible the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me and you because he anoint us to open the blind eye, to set for captivity free. And sign and wonder must follow me and you in this perilous time we live in. So we, we have to get back. The church have to get back to the whole time religion. Too much jealousy. Too much I minded in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When the Bible says we are, you know, we are the living heart, God, hallelujah. You know, when we must work together in unity, that unity is not anymore. Who can do it best? Oh, you know, no, God wants us to work in unity. When two of us come together, the Bible says one can put a thousand to fly and two can put 10,000. You know, so I'm here I'm telling you that not about we, we need more in God. We need to see the manifestation of the power of the Holy Spirit. We don't want to say, okay, our next preacher, hallelujah, our next what God can do, hallelujah. But we need to see the moving of God in our nation. The enemy don't fret your word. He don't fret how well they can preach or how well they can sing. But the enemy, hallelujah, is afraid of the anointing of God and is afraid of unity in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We need a shaking 
a shaking in this nation, a shaking in your home, hallelujah, a shaking in your family. We need a shaking in the mighty name of Jesus. We need people to come and give their life to God, hallelujah. We need God to go into every community and begin to touch those who have been bound to release them. We need a shaking. That's why we are praying for the Holy Ghost Spirit because we know the time we are living. The word of God is at hand. Hallelujah. And that's why you and me have to get to the place that God can use us in the mighty name of Jesus. We don't want to be any normal. We want to be extraordinary. Hallelujah. We, want, we are the child of God. The, the child know his vice in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. A church of the living God. We have to get it right. We cannot stay at the same level in the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know what tonight you expect, but I know what I expect. We need a revival in this time. When I look around me and I see what is happening around me, hallelujah. So they tell people about the word of God. They don't want to hear the word of God because they are bound. But the spirit of God can break every yoke. So that's why we need God to move. And you see, why would we don't understand that tarry is important? You tarry because you need help. He said, he said you need help in the, in the double portion. And as we begin to pray and tarry, we will see something happen. We will see God began to release people from bondage in the name. Because we are here online. We are witness for Christ. We need to see soul come to God. We need to see people come to repent and turn from their way in the mighty name of Jesus. So don't take this time lightly. You might be, you might be in England, but England are changing. Everything that changing around us. Don't be too comfortable. Our God, God plan, he's going to shake this world. He said, these things will come to pass. Nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. You look at the moment, you can see Russia and Africa, they divide, and, and Hing and America, there's a great division happening. The Bible is fulfilling. We cannot stay at the same place. We have to go higher place. It's time for us to stop playing church and be the true church of Christ. Too long we are playing church. We have to get right and be the true church of Christ in the name of Jesus. Too long we are selling our God, selling our salvation in the mighty name. Too long we are afraid to defend the name of Christ. Amen. Glory to God. Too long we have been lukewarm. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to God. Too long people of fear. People have got any more. Because how can they fear? They don't get fear a vessel who are anointed and overflow in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because the Bible says, God will bless those that bless you and curse those that curse you. That's right. Because that's why we have to get to the place where God, hallelujah, can, oh, hallelujah, the word of God can become money, a living testimony in our life, and we can testify about the word of God. Amen. Many, have, many people are in church for 20 years, and they are giving up. Because the pressure of this world, hallelujah. But it's not time for us to give up. It's time for us to draw closer to Christ. Amen. It's not time for us to back down, but it's time for us to go higher in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm telling someone it's time for you and me to get higher in God. And the sun, the at the battle is sweet at the victory in the mighty name of Jesus. And you know, we have to understand the Bible says, 
and this and this rock he built the church and the gate of hell cannot prevail against it. In the mighty name of Jesus. So me and you, we are more than conqueror in Jesus. We are more than victor. We are more than overcomer in the mighty name of Jesus. It's time for us to get to our rightful place in God. Whatever God put in you, you got to begin to release it. There's some stuff that God placed in us. We, because we have to release it, we have to release whatever God put in us. Amen. Because the enemy, the Bible said the enemy will come one way, but we flee seven directions in the mighty name of you. So it's time for Zion to arise and take back its place in this nation. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at the oh, word of God. God. The blessing of the wicked live for the righteous. Yes. Hallelujah. And when you are the place with God, the, the, the blessing shall begin to lose. Your blessing shall begin to overtake you in the mighty Amen. name of Jesus. Come on now. Glory. The word of God said, Hallelujah. Sometimes we are pray for many here. Hallelujah. But by the word of God said, He will make haste to perform it. Yes. That is a God that makes it. And the word of God tells us redeem the time because the days is evil. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So, hey, hey. So, when at the place with God and we speak something, it happened. And yes. sometimes when it happened, when, hallelujah, how we say we are waiting, God wants us to be at the place. And how can we get and how can we be at the place with God? Hallelujah. As we began to seek him more and more, flesh began to decrease, and the spirit of the sovereign God began to increase, increase in your life. And when the spirit of God increased in your life, no then from hell can stop you. That's right. It, Come on now. It, the Bible is a deep call unto deep. Mm-hmm. So God is taking us from dimension to dimension in him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a place we must go in God. It's a place me must go in the Lord. And it's a place you must go in God in the mighty name of, in the realm of the spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus. When you're in the realm of the spirit, you are dangerous. Yes. Hallelujah. You can pull up in the stronghold. When you're in the Come realm now. of the spirit, you can uproot this mantle. Hallelujah. In the name yes. of Jesus. The realm of the spirit, the gate of hell can stand against you in the name of Jesus. When you're in the realm of the spirit, no angel can hold up your blessing. That it was in the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Come on now. Shall release in blessing. Hallelujah. When yes. you're in the front of the spirit, hallelujah. You Glory. shall sing victory song. You shall sing victory song in the morning, in the evening, yeah. the, because Let you're in the realm of the spirit. Glory to God. The Glory. To us. We have Glory. to get in the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Elijah Come on, was in the realm of the spirit. In yes. Ezekiel was in the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. And the Lord took Ezekiel in the valley of Jibon. Ezekiel said, don't noise, Lord. Hallelujah. Don't noise. When you're in the realm of the spirit, flesh decrease and the spirit of God increase. Come on now. Come on now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, Lord will take us to a different dimension in him. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, hallelujah. We are alien. When you're in the realm of the spirit, people are going to call a alien in the mighty name of Jesus. We have to be in the realm of the spirit to survive in this time. Hallelujah. Because God wants to do a great thing in our life. He's waiting for me and you. Hallelujah. To be in the realm of the spirit. Amen. The Bible says the word of God is crying on for the manifestation and the sons of God. He said, we are the sons of God. We are the sons of God to come up in the realm of the spirit that he can work through our work through them in the mighty name of Jesus. God want to move in this nation. He want to move in me and your life. Hallelujah. But he said, we need to get higher. We need to get higher in him in the mighty name of Jesus. God is saying that we need to get higher in him. We cannot live the same level. Your blessing shall begin to run after you when you're in the realm of the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will give angels charge. You don't pray to angels. When you're in the realm of the spirit, the Lord will give angels charge over you. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, Glory to God. The spirit, the high will be hoping. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. When you're in the work of the spirit, you will live a victory life in your going, in your coming in. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, I am the head and the tail. But when you're in the work of the spirit, hallelujah, you began, the, the, the word of God began to manifest in your life. Hallelujah. Impossible will be possible in the mighty yeah. name of Jesus. When you the realm of the spirit, your husband will begin to locate you. Your wife will begin to locate you. In the name of Jesus, when you're in the realm of the spirit, destiny helper will begin to locate you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God said we need to get into the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. We are living in perilous time. Hallelujah. Yes. How can we overcome perilous time? But we are in the realm of the spirit. Elijah was in the realm of the spirit. In the mighty, Johnny Baptist was in the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Stephen was in the realm of the spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Even when them start to stone Stephen, Stephen said, forgive them. They don't, they don't know what they've done. The heaven was hoping unto him because Stephen was in the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. How can our faith, hallelujah, to veil, to, to veil, hallelujah. How can our faith go from glory to glory? We have to be in the realm of the spirit. And God is saying the church needs to get in the realm of the spirit. But how can we get into the realm of the spirit? Flesh have to decrease and the spirit of God increase in the mighty name of it. It's not by might, not by power, but it's by the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. That increase in me and your life. God wants to do a great work working us. God, hallelujah. But we need to get a place where God can use us. Amen. Hallelujah. God. Where God can use us. Hallelujah. God, hallelujah. 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 We need to say that we need to say sign and wonder follow us. But when you're in the realm of the spirit, sign and wonder will follow you. That you follow sign and wonder because you're in the realm of the spirit. The glory of the Lord God will overshadow you. Hallelujah. When you're, when you're in the realm of the spirit and you walk in a room, hallelujah, the glory will go with you, hallelujah. Even if you Amen. walk in a room and the room cold, the room will become hot because you're in the realm of the spirit. Amen. Come on hallelujah. now. Glory. Glory. Said, okay, we have to get into that, 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 we have to get to that dimension in him, in the mighty name of, in other words, physical, it is spiritual. And we have to, the flesh have to decrease. And when the flesh decrease, the spirit of God increase. Being self after die. Then have to do some work in our life in the name of whatever black the spirit for moving our life. We have, to, we have to begin to decrease it, hallelujah, and remove what to remove and replace what to replace. Amen. Hallelujah. You know why the world don't fear the church? Because the church backsliding from the realm of the spirit in the mighty name of the, they say they're in the spirit, but hallelujah, God wants us to be in the realm of the spirit. Deep call unto deep in the mighty name of Jesus. We need God to see God move over this nation. Hallelujah. 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 We need to see God move in our home, in our family life, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. If when you're in the realm of the spirit, hallelujah, people will begin to fear you. Hallelujah. Because, they, they, they come on now. because you're in the realm of the spirit. In the That's mighty right. name of Jesus. When they're in the realm of the spirit, the glory of God will overshadow the Bible. Stephen's face will like the sun because Stephen is in the realm of the spirit. When they're in the realm of the spirit, he preserve you. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. He preserve you in the name of Jesus. God is mm -hmm. taking to the church. Hallelujah. The spirit of God influence you. The spirit of God, hallelujah, if you preach it on tired, because the, the, the spirit God, of God influence you in the mighty name of you. And hallelujah. I can't understand the realm of the spirit. Paul said, when I came to you, I came to speak and access our wisdom, but I came to demonstrate the manifestation of God unto you. Hallelujah. Because Paul understand the realm of the spirit. Yes, you will go before kings, but the Lord fill your mouth with words because you're in the realm of the spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's the word lacking, the church lacking because the church moved from the realm 
have the spirit, they have the spirit, but there's no realm. Hallelujah. How can I overcome? Hallelujah. Mean you have it, but you have to go deeper, deeper dimension. Hallelujah. You have something. Yes. Oh, you no. have to you have, it has increased in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And if you don't increase, hallelujah, my God, God wants us to increase, increase in every year for our life. Hallelujah. Increase in the manifestation of God in our life. Come we on can, now, glory. We cannot be at the same level. Hallelujah. There and there. We, have to, we have to resist some as a non Lord. I'm ready to go in the realm of the spirit. If I perish, I perish. I'm going to go into the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. That God know. The Bible said. We have to have faith. But when in the realm of the spirit, faith will manifest because the hand of God is upon you. Hallelujah. When you're in the realm of the spirit, a different dimension. Because the spirit of God has influenced you. Because the, anointing, the hand of God upon your life. You try to move away from the realm of the spirit. Yes. That's why the enemy can walk in the church and do whatever he want to do. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. That's why, hallelujah, I can do whatever I want to do. First prophet can walk in and do whatever I want to do. Which yes. can walk in the truth and do whatever I want to do. Yes. But when you the realm of the spirit, you will identify. That's right. Come on now. Identify every familiar spirit in yes. the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on now. So God said, uh, uh, you know, we need to get back to that. We need to get to that place. We may read books, we may read Bible, but the apostle, but the apostle was in the realm of the spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. It was, the, the, the saying that God, we just, you cannot stay a Pentecostal. You have to move from Pentecostal to a higher dimension. Amen. As they began to break bread and give themselves to pray and fast, God did to take them to a different dimension. Yes. Not just speak in tongue, but take them to the manifestation of God and they find themselves in the realm of the spirit. Amen. So, hallelujah. We can do great and mighty thing if we, if we get back to the basic. You know, we sometimes we think we're there somewhere, we become so high minded and boastful. We're not there at all. If yes. you're in the realm, you know, they don't know at all. When you're in the realm of God, you're high whooping. Yes. Hallelujah. When Elisha was in the realm of the spirit, hallelujah, and the army rise up against him, and his servant was fearful. God, like the press of God, open, open my servant high so they can he can see. Yes. And it's a total of angel around him with tread of fire because Elijah is in the realm of the spirit. So God give angel charge over him. Amen. You don't pray for you don't pray to angel, but God give it, he charge over you. When you're in the realm of the spirit, angel become a security guard. That's right. Come on now. In the name of Jesus Christ. So that's why you know, the Bible says, you know, we are the apple of his eye. But how can we be the apple of his eye if we're not in the realm of the spirit? When you are the apple of God, you are protected. You know? The Bible said, you know, the grace of God, your growing grace, your growing humility, the realm, you're full of the fruit of the spirit because you're in the realm. Yes. And today, we are the church of God, you know, even the scripture, oh, perilous time shall come. We are living in perilous time. And then read and say, no, no, we have to get in the realm of God to overcome this time we are living. In, in this time, Anadolio's time, a real war. Yes. But real war. And, and it, but don't, even the, God said, he must have shot the day for the elixir. Everywhere will be shaking. But when you're in the realm of the spirit, you're unshakable. You're unmovable. Because the Lord gave his angel charge over me and you. The church of the living God. Even tonight we are lying and we, we are praying and we are doing things. And you know, even, you know, just came to my spirit that, you know, we need to keep my, and I'm speaking to myself, I need to get to that level. You know, one time I get a dream, you know, I get a dream, I get a dream, you know, a, a dream many years ago. I was praying and, you know, I was praying and something was revealing to me. 
something mighty against your life, but if you pray the way you should pray, nothing can stand against you. Amen. So what God said, be too comfortable. We must pray the way we pray. We mean we must give myself to prayer and fasting and the word of God and the flesh decrease. And may God remove any kind of thing out of me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So the enemy can accuse me. Yes. So it's the same way. You know, as we come here today, we, even we are sharing the word of God. We are raised together. How can we get to the living God? Me and you are waiting on the same flight. Hallelujah. But we have to be. The church lose, loses power. They have the spirit, but there is no realm. Mm. Hallelujah. And the Bible said, deep cut unto deep. Deep challenge deep. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And because we are in the realm of the spirit, we cannot see beyond the normal. Hallelujah. Said, God hoping my servant high so he can see. Can his servant not understand because Elisha was in the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. When he see when he see the harm he rise up against it, he have no fear. Can he know angels surrounding him? Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it's the same thing God is saying. It's the same thing that God gave Elijah. He gave the church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But how oh, can we be at the place? We have to stake our rightful place in God. Hallelujah. You look around Hallelujah. us, even Jamaica, you see there's so much church. Hallelujah. And I said, What the why this thing is happening? I know the word of God. Must fulfill, yes, but there must be sign and wonder all the days where the church upon this earth because of a few people understand the realm of the spirit of God. We go to church and think we just go for a, a social gathering, even at a social gathering. The church of God, when it comes together, is serious business in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We take it lightly. Thanks of God. We have to get back to the place where God can move in each and every life. We cannot make it by it. Yeah, you, you can have the word. You can, you can know the scripture. But the Bible said the word of God shall be like a fire and a hammer in your mouth. Because Jeremiah was in the realm of the spirit. Even Jeremiah go to a trial time. Jeremiah said, I'm not preaching anymore. No. He said, I feel like fire shut up in my bone. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. And this is the place that God wants us to reach as a, as a reach, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And we have to understand what you can do, we can do. We have every one of their own assignment. Hallelujah. But it's for, one, it's for one purpose. It's for the kingdom of God. And if you become jealous of the next person assignment, you are, you are not mature in God. That's right. In the name of Jesus Christ. And jealousy is the character of Satan. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So the Amen. Bible says, wherever God is, when, when, when the people of God come together, because in the realm of the spirit, the enemy always there to make confusion. But when you're in the realm of the spirit, you shut down every confusion. Yes. Hallelujah. Because you're high, you have been hoping, you are alert, you are near God in the mighty name of Jesus. So don't fear this time. The Lord said, I told you this thing will happen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But why is it in the realm of the spirit? You shall not be moved. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That, that's the way the church is moving so often because they're not in the realm of the spirit. That's right. Hallelujah. They say they have spirit, but in a realm. Hallelujah. Meaning they can't stay at Pentecost alone. You have to move from Pentecost to a higher place. Higher heights. Hallelujah. Mean your life, the flesh must decrease. And when the flesh decreases, 
Hallelujah. Then you begin to travail in the realm of the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. The more you to increase, the more the Lord have his way in your life. He said, I can't pour my wine in dirty vessel. I can't no, pour no. in dirty vessel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says we are born in sin and we are shaping in iniquity in, in the name of Jesus. That's why you have to die. It's the Lord, purge me, Lord. Wash me, Lord. Wash me whiter than stone in the name of Jesus. We have to get to the place where God wants to use us. Amen. The nation are dying. The church are dying. And I wonder, you know, the humble, and I wonder why. I know, Lord, you said the church in a coma, coma, coma. And I said, what is coma? You are shit, then I move. You are preaching, I hear it. So that's why we got to, we must stand in the gap and get in the realm of the spirit to destroy the yoke of the enemy. To undo those every load. To lose those who have been bound. In the mighty name of Jesus. So God is saying to the church. Saint of God. I'm praying for a revival. Amen. I don't happy. The place I'm at at this present time. Now when I read the word of God. It is a mirror to my life. There is more in God. In the mighty name of Jesus. And we have to begin to walk by faith. And not by sight. Not by sight. The Bible said, you know, those simple man, just man like me, you know, they walk by faith and in the realm of the spirit and then crank the fire, the firmness. Hallelujah. They bring the army. They put, put, they put the enemy to flight. Because they are in the realm of the spirit. David was in the realm of the spirit. Because the glory of God overshadowed him. So we have to get to the place where God can use us. Amen. I'm just happy to stay at the same level. Not become self-righteousness. Some, there's so many have been self-righteous. And they don't know, they don't know where we will God. They still have babe in Christ. Because the word of God, they read and they will never come to the truth. Because flesh intervene. If they don't put flesh under subjection, it will block the truth. So, saints of God, the word I'm leaving it tonight, me and you, we are living in perilous time. Let us get in the realm of the spirit. Yes. Nothing not going to be easy. But when you're in the realm of the spirit, your blessing will begin to overtake you. Amen. Hallelujah. Because you're in a deeper dimension. Amen. The word of God says, whatever we're born in earth, we're born in heaven. And when I read that scripture, yes, the, it's a statement. But when I read the word scripture, there's some things you have to do. You have to abide by the word of God. Yes. And in the realm of the spirit. You know, he said, you know, we must pray and he gives authority, authority come through the spirit of God and the word of God. So that it be his, the influence of God, the spirit of the living God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Church, God want to move in this nation. But we align tonight, the three of us, let us, let us get back to the basic. Get back to the whole time religion. Look for no one, but look at Christ. Uh -huh. I make Christ do a work in your life and me life in the name of Jesus Christ. And be a vessel of revival. Like Ezekiel. Praise the Lord. Ezekiel was in the realm of the spirit. There's so much joy bone are crying out. My soul is lost and my hope is gone. But God cannot send us because we're not in the realm of the spirit. But when you're in the realm of the spirit, you will hear the call of God and go wherever the Lord sends you in the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing that's going to be easy in this time we're living. But if we're in the place with God, it shall be easy for you, for me, in the mighty name of Jesus. 
So tonight, God bless you. And God strengthen each and every one tonight. As we work together in unity. Hallelujah. As we build up each other in faith and the word of God and in love. That we all look up our redemption giant night and, and embrace each other with the love of God always saints of God I need you and you need me to help help one another to enter in the kingdom of heaven is that easy the word of God one a thousand and two can put ten thousand fly let us bind let us, let us bind, bind together in unity and in love Stay in the spirit. Hallelujah. Stay Glory in the spirit God. of God. Amen. And get into the realm. In the spirit is one. But get into the realm. There is the authority. And deeper dimension. Hallelujah. Amen. That God. When God revealed those dimension unto you. It will blow your mind. Hallelujah. Sometimes Hallelujah. we are struggling. How we are wonder God now I'm blessed and God say, boy, me 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 talk about myself. God say, me need to get in the, me need to get in the room of the spirit. You can't up and sea level and overcome. You have to be on the mountain, be a eagle. Too Amen. long we have been a chicken. We have to be a eagle to survive in this time. Yes, and so we are in um, church to get in. We are. Well, I was wondering what is happening and all around us. And I said, God, the church, not in the realm of the spirit. That's why they can't see when they become blind. We can't find finger point on the car. We have to stand in the gap and ask God to take us in the time to find finger point no one. But it's a stand in the gap. I mean, God can use you and me as an example for many of us. The Bible says, let the filthy be filthy telling until you come. Many of of us, our reward is to the king of hell. God said, many of us are already condemned because we, many of us will never change. But those who are willing to change, the Lord will take you into the realm of the spirit. So God bless you. God bless you tonight. And let us let us let us continue to stay in the fire of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because when, when the Holy Spirit, the Bible says, He will teach you all truth. Let us stay in the fire of God. He will bring, he, he will bring before great kings and fill your mouth with word in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He will make you become a deliverer. To stay in the fire of God, stay in Zion, but get in the room of God. And your reward will be great in Jesus' name. God bless your heart. Hallelujah. Thank you. Glory to God. God bless you. God bless you, Pastor Elijah, for that powerful, powerful word from God. God bless you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Just want to open the floor if anyone would like to share. Um, just unmute your mic and share if you wanted to add something, give a testimony. The floor mm -hmm. is now open. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. No one wants to share? Okay. So thank you, Pastor Elijah. You know, thank you. Yes, you have a praise the Lord. Thank you, it's oh. Pastor Audrey here. Yes, oh, uh, thank you for the message, the message Pastor Elijah brought. Yes, perilous time is here. He said rightly, look at the, the earthquake, look at the floods, look what's happening right around us. We can see the hand of God and we can see what's going on in the world. Whether it's God speaking in another way or not, we can see that perilous time. People are dying by the thousands. 20,000 people are dying in Libya. And, you know, the earthquake in Morocco and, yeah. you know, in Brazil, look what's happening. So perilous time is here and we need to look up because our redemption draws near. We just need to count the cost 
think about our lives. Think about not just our lives, but think about the lives that are dying because we need to bring others into the kingdom. The kingdom of God must be populated. And if we don't do it, we have to take to the streets of London. We have to take to the streets of wherever you are to reach the lost for Christ so that people will populate the kingdom of heaven. That's why Jesus came. He came only for the lost. And if they're going to lost and go to hell, that's not why he came. He came for us to change that situation. So the perilous time that is here is for us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's to the start doing some some mighty work go into all the world preach the gospel tell them about what god has put, proclaimed jesus left us with a mandate for real each and every one of us can do it in under not when we're working but when we have our own free time whatever we're doing wherever whatever profession we are, we have we can actually go and tell somebody about christ we can find the time you know in the olden time people talked to the, the Philip talked to the, the eunuch. He was coming from church. He was coming from a meeting go from Jerusalem. Wherever we are, we can just strike up a conversation. That's what I want to say. Strike up a conversation. I was coming home from church and I stopped at the barbers. I spoke to the people in the barber shop and I invited them to church. And I thought just like what Philip did, start, you know, the man said, what, there is water, what does in the me from being baptized? I spoke to them and I invite the manager. I might invite the guy who was in the chair getting his hair cut. And I invite the, the person who was talking to me on just on coming out of the barber shop. So they are coming next week to church. And I'm saying that to say this. Many times I walk past that barber shop, I never go inside. On Sunday, last Sunday, I did it. You can do the same, going to the hairdressers, going to the florist shop go into the supermarket, just talk to the person next to you and invite them to church. Talk to them about, do you know Jesus? Do you love him? It just takes a few seconds to talk, start strike up the conversation and see how God will move by the spirit. Yeah. So I'm saying this to say that we need to rise up and be counted as children of the most high God and just deliver the message that he came to give us. He came to seek and to save that which was lost. That is the only purpose that he came, that we might have life and have it more abundantly. God bless you as you continue to take heed because perilous time is here. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you, Pastor Eccleston. God bless you. Thank you for that word, Pastor. Um, anyone else would like to share? Okay, no one would like to share. Um, just sing our theme song and then we just close off the Facebook um, in prayer. Hallelujah. Thanks, thanks, we give you thanks for all you have done. We are so blessed, yes, our soul is at rest. Oh Lord, we give you thanks, thanks. Thanks, we give you thanks for all you have done. We are so blessed, yes, our soul is at rest. Oh Lord, we give you thanks. Hallelujah. We're just going to pray and close the close off the um, evening sermon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, we just want to give you thanks for the word that came forth tonight, O oh God Almighty. We just want to thank you for the word, oh God, that it will just minister, you minister to us, oh God. And Father, for those that are on the Facebook, we just want to put them before you tonight, oh God. Those that are on the YouTube, we want to put them before you tonight, oh God. And Father, God, as the word went out tonight, we pray, Heavenly Father, that you will continue to let the word minister to each and every one of us. Let the word, oh God Almighty, pierce every situation in our circumstances, oh God. Father, God Almighty, let us not lean on our own understanding, but in all our ways, 
praise, Lord. We will acknowledge you as you continue to direct our path. Father God Almighty, we just want to say thank you once more. And as you continue to bless us and to keep us safe, that Father God Almighty, when the word goes out and we praise you, we thank you, then the blessings will come down upon each and every one of us, Lord God Almighty. Father God Almighty, we tell you thanks in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Just want to say good night to, to Facebook. Good night, YouTube. Thank you all for coming. And we'll see you all again next week. Same time, same place. Next week, Thursday, between 7 and 7.15, we go live. Good night, Facebook. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.